Hello everybody, my name is Luigi Pingara and welcome to this exciting tutorial. This is Skyrim Creation Kit and I'm going to teach you how to make your own custom crafting stations. That's right. So, let's start with the smelter. Just for the sake of this tutorial, this thing. This is how you make ingots in the game. What we're going to do is we're going to search for the smelter in the object window in the Skyrim Creation Kit. And here it is, crafting smelter marker 1. We're going to select it and we're going to right click it and we're going to go to duplicate. And you see it appears here, crafting smelter duplicate number 2. And we're going to click on the words. And if we've done it correctly, it will allow us to rename it. And let's give it something, a, a, a unique name so we can find it later. So AA underscore custom smelter. And we click out of it comes up with this dialog, create a new object. No, we'll rename this object. We just want to rename it and we don't want to create a new object. So let's go to no. Are you sure? This object is currently used by zero objects and zero references. It's, that's just saying that if we did apply it, if we did put it into our world, into the Skyrim world, uh, in one of the cells, you might have a problem. That's, it's not going to do an issue because just create it, so we're going to click on yes. Great. So now here's the fun part. We're going to look for a static. What is a static? Well, a static in the Skyrim world is any object which doesn't have an animation, is not affected by gravity, it's not an NPC, anything like that. Stuff like buildings, architecture, braziers, torches, anything um, that, like I said, is not affected by gravity and it's not an NPC or anything like that. And can, we can usually find it under world objects static. So let's search for a static. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to select the WH Firebrazer 1. So what we want to do is we're going to double click it. The brazier. We're going to go to model, edit, and where we will see this preview window of what we've created so far. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this architecture windhelm wsbreader.inf. It's very important that we have the .inf. So we're going to select it and we're going to go to control C, copy, or right click, copy. We're going to exit out of that. Exit out of that. And we're going to search for our custom um, smelter object that we created uh, just moments ago. We're going to double click it. We're going to go to model right here. Um, go to edit. We come to this screen. We're going to go to edit round here. And the creation kit should open up a Windows Explorer window. In meshes, this is exactly what we want, and we're going to paste it. Control V to paste, or right click paste, and uh, everything's selected correctly. Files of type native merge models. Nf. It doesn't matter if we if it's not selecting it automatically. We're just going to click OK, and it should change like that. The model should change. Great. Press OK, and going to press OK. And what we've done is we created a smelter with the model of one with the brazier. And we can actually give it, that's the idea of what we're going to, uh, so we can see it in the creation kit. We can actually give it a name. We can keep it to smelter because that way the player will know. Uh, I've already explained model. And here is. I'm just going to briefly tell you a little bit about that, that. Crafting smelter, furniture, force third person, furniture smelter, is smelter, race to scale. So because we duplicated it, it already done it for it, and we don't have to fiddle around with scripts or anything like that. Everything should be done. And now, as of this tutorial, I do not uh, know how to do the animation. Um, how to assign these with animations, but it will work. 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to place this new smelter that we created somewhere into the Skyrim game world and we're going to test it out. And here we are, I've placed our smelter in a random house in Riften because screw those guys and if we hover over our brazier we can say it uses smelter comes up with the word I've added a campfire here just to give it a uh, small realism and the best thing about it uh, the campfire is like a, a an animated static but if you do decide to use uh, a static another top of a static it shouldn't interfere with it I still have to hover over the brazier to use the smelter and I can use it from any side of the model which is really handy and I'm just going to press E and let's create some refined moonstone because I've got a bunch of 10 moonstone ore yes we do and it just functions exactly the same as a normal smelter wood and let's go check Refined Moonstone. And this method works with all the forms of crafting stations. Uh, whether it be blacksmithing, alchemy, enchanting, wood chopping, any of them. Um, you can create a whole bunch of things using this method. It's really cool. As long as it's a static. I haven't tried it with any piece of uh, like clothing apparel or something like that. But I think because it's clothing can be picked up and you know thrown and unrelenting force and that sort of thing it might have some trouble with it so I prefer to use a static but yeah um, I had chosen this I wanted to show you this because uh, sometimes especially with the blacksmithing uh, crafting stations it's way too big and this is a way to create your own custom crafting stations I hope this has been useful to you. Um, I'm very excited to bring this to you. And if it has been useful, uh, please like and share with your friends online so we can all help each other make some pretty cool, amazing stuff in Skype. Thank you.